Um, well, I'm the, uh, the team leader of the, uh, the Dutch team, uh, sailing on Saar Peter. And uh, the way St. Petersburg and Amsterdam are connected uh, over a very long historical period of time makes it an extra uh, interesting feature of this uh, new Nord Stream race starting in, uh, in St. Petersburg. And uh, from what I understand that it's all going to be, it's going to be a very exciting race. You're representing Team Holland. Can you tell us a bit about your crew and their specialities? Yeah, well, our crew, in fact, um, the way we, 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 we selected our crew is the way you should, would do it for a, a club racing team. Um, it means we have people uh, from different ages, young people uh, on the foredeck, and uh, submit, uh, let's say, experience uh, in the back of the boat. And uh, in that way, we hope to, uh, to be able to uh, be a serious competitor, but of course we are not a team that uh, has sailed together very, very, very many times. Uh, so that's why we're training uh, here in Sardinia now in order to uh, try and find the best way to work together. And you've had a chance to see the other boats, the, the Russians and the Germans. How, um, how, how, have you, how have they got on this week? Well, of course, it's, uh, when we look at our competition, it's going to be uh, a tough job uh, to compete with them because um, looking at the Russian team, I think they are sailing this boat for two years now and uh, so we can learn a lot from them and we're using every opportunity to, uh, to see what they're doing and how they are sailing. Uh, the European boat with Tim Kroger uh, I think speaks for itself. Uh, very professional boat with a very professional crew. Uh, the German boat with uh, Thomas Lundquist that I used to sail against in Finns many years ago. Uh, from the uh, Norddeutsche Regatta Verein, also a very experienced club uh, in uh, offshore racing. And only then there's the French, but we don't know too much about the French. We haven't seen them, we haven't seen any names, uh, but I'm sure uh, they, will, uh, they will do a good job. And the race takes place in the Baltic Sea, quite late in the year. What experience do you have? Well, the Baltic, of course, is uh, for us a little bit the destination that we haven't been to too often. Um, I remember I sailed uh, Solings uh, in the Baltic, but that's quite some years ago and it was small boat racing if you like. Um, and now we're going to do uh, the long distance stuff. And uh, I think in, uh, in October, that's not necessarily uh, a milled run, uh, mm -hmm. with uh, statistical possibilities of temperatures between minus 5 and plus 10. Uh, we sincerely hope that it's on the upper side <laughs> of the interval, uh, because it can be quite tough. Absolutely. And the, there's prize money up for grabs? Um, you know, I think in, uh, in sailing we're not so much used to, to having prize money. Uh, obviously it's, uh, it's a bonus, but to be fair, when, when we look at our competitors, um, we think that uh, with some of the professionalism that we see on some of the other boats, it will be quite a challenge. But I think in sailing uh, it is... Uh, the fact that you try, the fact that you work hard and uh, perseverance there is, uh, is probably one of the most important things you can, uh, you can have and uh, so we'll go for it. And do you think the Nord Stream race could become a sort of a, a, a must do for, for sailors? Um, I think with the, the, the challenge of uh, the Nord Stream race long term is that um, many of the boats that, that compete very often in, in this sort of race sail in the Mediterranean and I think that it will take some convincing uh, to get the skippers move their boat from the Med to, uh, to the Baltic. Um, but actually that would be an interesting challenge because there are so many prestigious races in this part of the world and I think uh, this would probably one of the, the prestigious races in the Baltic and uh, I do hope that uh, it will be the start of a, a great tradition. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome.